What does Star Investment Partners do differently to its peers, both locally and abroad? What really sets you apart? So I think it's important to recognize that our experience of dealing with the end consumer, mine in particular, but also uh, my colleagues, dealing with the end consumer gives you a very, very different perspective about life. So I would say as an asset manager and as a discretionary fund manager or a DFM, our experience of dealing directly with the end consumer and how they relate to money informs how we treat their money and how we treat our our, our partners and our consumers. I think that is a big differentiating factor. I'm not saying it's an absolute or a unique, but certainly I do believe it differentiates us considerably from your traditional asset management houses and most other DFMs that we work with. We also believe and fundamentally understand the role of the IFA or the Independent Financial Advisor and how they fit into the relationship with the end consumer, how they guide, how they hold the hand through the difficult times. And when you don't understand that and you don't appreciate that role, what you tend to do is get a bit more dictatorial and a little bit more, this is the way it is, deal with it. We're very much not that. We work with the financial advisor who understands his customer much better than we do. We appreciate his view and we take it on board at all times. I think the other important thing to, to say is that we don't see ourselves just as a service provider. If we were just a service provider, it would be the lowest common denominator. We'd be driven down by price, and that's, we've seen that happen in the, in the industry, where a big player comes in, they, they, they come in, they provide the service, sometimes good service, sometimes average service, but they do it on bulk. And by doing that, they drive down the, the, the price. They also do it on the basis of peer review. Right? So they, they say, well, if the market's down 10% and our peers are down 8%, as long as we're down 7%, as a good service provider, we can't get fired. We think that's a, a, a not the right way to go about it. We much prefer dealing with the basis of, of we want to have a strong, deep relationship, one which is understood by our financial advisors and by our, our partners. We also deeply and fundamentally believe in the mastermind principle, two heads are better than one, et cetera. We encourage our partner advisors to bring their ideas to the table. We don't dictate to them. We don't say this is black and white. We can't move from here. We have our, obviously our investment philosophy, which they buy into, but if they come with a good idea, or if they come with an idea which needs to be heard, we're more than open. In fact, we encourage it. We meet and talk with our financial advisors, not just around investment committees, but around their life, around their business and their future and what they're trying to build. And I think the other key one, and this is key to our investment philosophy, is we don't take unnecessary risks to achieve the stated goal. What my experience has told me over the last 30 years in investment management and wealth management is that the vast majority of investment managers take risks with people's money, which is actually unnecessary. Our research supports that th thesis and my own experience in front of clients trying to justify why this risk was taken when it was unnecessary to be taken differentiates us.